The late June Bacon Bercy broke the glass ceiling as the first African-American female certified broadcast meteorologist in 1971. This past summer, we said goodbye to the trailblazer, but her story lives on forever. And more women like San Diego's chief meteorologist Carlene Chavis are being accepted into roles Bacon Bercy struggled to get. I'm June Bacon Bercy, meteorologist from the National Weather Service. Embracing African-American women in roles they were once denied. Initially, when they told me that the opening was there, I, I was like, me? Are you sure people are ready for this? <laughs> are you sure people are ready for me? And the news director at the time, he said yes. A life-changing yes for Carlene Chavis. One of the first people that came up to me when I moved to San Diego after being on air was an older black couple. And they said that we are watching you and we're proud of you. Chavis, the chief meteorologist in San Diego, says she's doing this for the next generation, like the trailblazing June Bacon Bercy did for her. Growing up, I didn't see that representation. I knew that I was a weather nerd, wanted to be on air, and wanted to be a meteorologist someday, but I didn't see me. Dale St. Clair says that's why her mother, Bacon Bercy, refused to give up on her dream of changing the face on television. I always asked her, why did she do that? When she got there, she was the only one there. The first person arrived around an hour later. Uh, and she said, because they wouldn't, they don't expect me to be there. And although Bacon Bercy was the first, Carlene says she doesn't want to be the last. Being that person for any young person who looks at TV and says, I can identify with her, letting them know you too could also eventually become a meteorologist or even a chief meteorologist. Carlene Chavis isn't the only trailblazing woman making history today. Next week, Chief Meteorologist Janice Huff, who has been forecasting for the Big Apple since 1996, joins the conversation.